it's cool playing this together. I've not really, um, we were talking about a little bit this before, but I've not actually played turntable in a, like this kind of context before. So it's, yeah, it's a, it's a funny thing because I have a little bit of a, um, not pet peeve, but like, like sort of almost like playing with yourself in public, like, like sort of discovering or figuring out an instrument as part of performance is something I'm not usually a yeah. big fan of, but like, yeah. so I kind of find myself having to do that a little bit here, but it's yeah. like, uh, I don't know. I mean, like we've not played together a ton, but like, I think we've played together a, a we've bit. played and, together a couple of times maybe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's not like that goes too deep, but like, I, I feel yeah. like, uh, I don't know, we can sort of make some musical sense of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking while we we're playing, I don't think I've played with a turntable turntablist before mm. so yeah it's kind of slightly new thing for me <laughs> like obviously i've like played improvised duo loads um but yeah like just like kind of figuring i was like you know figuring out the sound world that you've got available to you while we we're like doing that yeah, yeah. Um, but um, i mean and, and yeah here in this specific thing because I, I mean i knew like i wasn't super like it's not i'm not inside out with the turntable like i, I have some extra bells and whistles to mm, kind yeah. of draw on but like at the same time you don't want to do everything all the time so Kind yeah, of finding yeah. a space and then occupying, and I, yeah, I think we got into some kind of cool territory. Um, I mean, a, a couple times in it, but like where beyond, like I guess there's like a, a a baseline agreement of start stop that is very useful in like a musical dialogue, like where we're like, oh yeah, oh, yeah oh, stop, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and we can kind of like communicate in this sort of like yeah binary way, yeah, yeah, and then I think yeah. come like going through that and then finding like a more um, I guess polyphonic or or dialogy. Yeah. implementations of that you know yeah yeah or aren't they aren't so much like uh red yeah light, yeah, yeah you know yeah we're not like yeah like there was a bit of like we're like trying to do the same thing together and like oh it's like oh like just collectively agree that this this passage is finished but then yeah yeah like yeah it's good to get beyond like past that i think mm. um yeah uh i mean i guess in a general sense like when when you have multiple instruments i mean i guess often when you perform you do have like the multiple ones like one do you because something like like when let's say like for example when I play percussion, it's a thing of like okay I'm gonna grab that other thing now and, and like yeah how 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 I mean here I guess it's a bigger thing you have to physically it's, put it yeah thing it's, it's kind of like a bigger change so like I have to like sort of slightly plan like well not plan but like think about like okay like I'm gonna like commit to like thirty seconds to change over and then I'm, maybe I'm gonna like you know play this other instrument for a few minutes to make the change worthwhile sort of thing yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah there is a bit of like thinking about like what kind of spaces have we been in and what kind of spaces might we be about to enter and like what instrument do I want to play like mm. for that what I think might be the upcoming space mm. um, and like it doesn't always <laughs> it doesn't always go to plan but like sometimes yeah, yeah. it does you know I mean I, I guess um, do you do you give yourself let's say like let's you, you oh, I'm gonna switch the flute and you go to flute and then all of a sudden it's like we're not in a flute place anymore like yeah. do, you, do you find yourself feeling that you need to commit to X amount of flute or, or? No, 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 no. But it's like, like, but I like, the, the, you know, there are, I'm not really in this, but like there are some type, like the flute is by its nature, a like relatively quiet instrument. So mm. like, I've definitely been in improvised contexts where it's like suddenly like, you know, I'm on flute and like suddenly it gets loud and I'm like, like, I can't hear me, <laughs> let alone anyone else. Um, and, but yeah, so it's then like, you've got to like deal with that in some way. Hmm. Um, either by just like sitting out or swapping back or like, whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah. Because that, that's one that I, I, I do think about, again, relating to like when I do like drums or percussion stuff that like um, the, the sort of friction and overhead of like moving to a different um, practical space, be it like another instrument or another yeah. bit of gear or whatever it is, yeah. um, requires an overhead such that like I feel that there's like an implicit... Um, expectation that you'll then carry on so like oh i'm gonna go over yeah. here i'm gonna plug this thing and i'm ready to go yeah um to still have at least for myself the wherewithal to to still be able to pull the plug on that and be like okay i'm, I'm ready this is a whole yeah, thing yeah, i got like, ready and that's like like yeah no and then just that. and just to be able to kind of like abandon it which i guess here's a little trickier because like you physically like you've got another thing going and then yeah like, yeah it's like slightly more difficult to just like chuck stuff down but <laughs> like <laughs> yeah it is possible i mean it's like yeah like I mean, depends what I'm playing as so, well. Like I don't have a bass clarinet today, but if I had a bass clarinet, like I'd probably I might I, I'd often be like sat down to play, and then mm. like maybe you can have like a soft place next to you, and you can just like it's easier to just like chuck stuff on a cushion, you know. Where it's like, yeah, but it's yeah, it depends. 
if it, if it um, didn't look so perhaps funny, would you would you consider having like multiple stands, like like have them all racked up? Yeah, yeah like just <laughs> oh, like ready, like ready to yeah, just yeah, go. like um, I mean <laughs> maybe <laughs> <laughs> or like like uh, uh, like a sort of a chest piece, like marching band style, where there's like a like yeah, like each uh, bit is just kind of <laughs> sticking out of you, just. Just there. like have like everything there, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a pan flute, but of like yeah. uh, different saxes, you know. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a concept. Yeah, <laughs> I could I could work on that. Um, but yeah, but um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, in general, I'm like, I mean, they are different instruments, and I play them as different instruments. But when I'm like approaching an improvised set, I try and think of it as like one, like one musician, which is me with like different like different spaces available to me so I try mm. like I try to sort of think of them as like because uh, like you know they have their own character but like s they overlap in some ways so mm. it's like some of them it's like you know try and think about like how do they overlap and how 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 to like transition like not seamlessly as we just talked about but like make more of a sense of a transition like so it's not just like a hard edge and more mm. like work towards something that would like make more sense or I don't know try and like keep a narrative through the two through the multiple instruments but I don't but, know if it always works but <laughs> yeah <laughs> something I'm trying to do anyway. I mean kind of tangential to that but like do you do, you do multi-instrument uh, gigs where you have multiple saxes specifically like uh, alto tenor or whatever or do you not improvised gigs really no. um I mean like yeah other like you know stylistic music yeah, you know, yeah. like maybe you know but not really improvised um but like it's mostly because I've just focused on alto for like, mm. this sort of thing, um, so and yeah, and saxes are heavy to carry around, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine it would also be like a different conceptual thing because here it's like a quite different timbral thing and different fingering. And all yeah, that kind of stuff, like, like yeah. I mean, the, the the thing with like the the winds is that they give you like a really different space. And like, yeah, yeah. if I had like a tenor, it gives you a slightly different space, but it's like not yeah, that yeah. much different. And it's like yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Um, yeah. Cool. But uh, yeah. Shall we play some more? Okay. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 